Yeah, some pixels can either make you look like a fool or make you look like a hero. That's right. Do the Jesus clip in the run? Uh, the Jesus clip is situational in runs. It all depends on how the run's going. Same with door three. Last night, I had to do like six door threes. Last night, this game was wearing on me a lot. So what did I do in return? I stayed up all night practicing. Savior runs on cave paintings, that's right. I got back at the game by playing it more. Uh, honestly, I don't ever think that Jesus Clip will ever be mandatory in any run at any point in time. I think the odds of you getting perfect Hammer Brother movements pretty sure Haxer can back me up on this is impossible. I think it's actually impossible to get perfect Hammer Brother movements. All eight worlds in 100%. Yo, thank you for the 100 bits, man. I really appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Jesus clip won't be mandatory until all Hammer Brothers become perfect movements. Because every movement that's not perfect is a potential time save, which means you don't need to do Jesus Clip ever. Now, you could do Jesus Clip in an amazing run, and people are like, shit, do I have to do Jesus Clip now? You know, the answer would most likely be no, because you could get better Hammer Brother movements, right? There's always the option of better Hammer Brother movements. Bad Hammer Brother movements in World 5 versus good Hammer Brother movements in World 5 has to be somewhere between 3 to almost 20 seconds. I don't know why I got 22 coins. I should know. No question here is dumb. Yeah, we got the tunnel. Yeah, we got mini games going. Well, that's the TAS, essentially. You're talking about a, t a TAS run. We can't, we can't do stuff like that. Yes, you guys can guess now. Three doesn't necessarily have like the hardest level. There's alternatives of doing lots of things. Mario 3 has a lot of um, I can work my way around this kind of thing. What's hard about Mario 3 is being able to do the full world perfectly. And the hardest world at that is 
god, it could be not including like RNG. Fuck me. Man, these Cheerios keep getting me. I don't know why. I don't know what they're doing. I think it's because I'm jumping. It has to be because I'm jumping and he's shooting up. Where if I didn't jump, he would just shoot straight. I have no idea why this off pattern is. It's, it's never done this to me before. He's never actually been damaging me ever in my life, I don't think. Not this much. There's, my brain has adapted to something that's wrong. And I don't know what it is, because I don't practice it, because it's World 1. Maybe I should quickly go and practice it and figure out what the problem is. I've obviously developed some kind of consistent issue. I've got no clue, Hacks. I have no clue. It's all just a jumble. I'd have to take a look at it. If it happens again, then I'm gonna go quickly fix it. It's an easy fix. It's just... It's almost like... It's so small, it shouldn't be an issue. It's like I'm refusing to let it be an issue, so I'm like... I'm trying to fix it in my runs. Which is something you should never really do, there's no point. I could just... I could just put on the Everdrive right now, quickly go to World 1. So we'll see what happens again. We'll see what happens. Hey, look at look at the bright side though. We got mini games. And I don't have to worry about 22 coins. That was frustrating. Uh, I'll probably go to Warpless after this. But I might take a break in between this and Warpless and do any percent no wrong warp. We'll see how that goes. It is still 100%, yes. It shouldn't be, though. It shouldn't be. No. <laughs> Yawn 1 4, I know, dude. I feel you. Thank you for the 100 bits, though. I really appreciate that. Uh, everything that involves the White Mushroom House is anywhere between 12 to 15 seconds. Dude, all collectibles is dope. All collectibles is how we, like, amplify Mario 3 again. Do you know how discouraging going for the Mario 3 records are? So we build on it, right? We build new categories. More interesting things. Keep it alive. Right? I want Mario 3 to be relevant in speedrunning 20 years from now. That would be awesome. That'd be... I'd be very proud of the game and the community and... How far it's gone, that would be fantastic. But at this rate, it'll just be dead in a couple of years. The records were just gonna get so low for the categories, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be enticing to go for. Mitch Fowler Jr. will run it home. I don't know why the other speedrunners aren't running all collectibles. It's a fresh new category with different strategies and different things to do. And the more people that run it, the more... Well, you'd like to think the more viable it could be an official category. Says the all forts category. Terminators will hold all gaming records. No. That's not entirely true, Crazy Fingers. And like, who, who has actually been saying Mario any percent is dead? So just some random chatter in a forum. I mean, are we really gonna listen to someone like that? I'd rather take the advice from someone who knows what they're talking about. 
Right, I don't know who's actually said any percent has been dead. Especially since if you watch the summoning salt, like no runners actually thought the category was ever really dead. I mean, not just chat, I mean like a, a forum or something. Right? Yo, somebody got 503.75. Oh. Not many guessers, I'm saving money. That's true, a lot of people didn't think it would be possible. Say Mario 3 had the same Im improbabilities or whatever you want to call it as well, but nobody thought it was dead. Everyone still runs it. To stay relevant, popular, and interesting, I always find that you need, you need more of a rambunctious community leader. Right? You need somebody involved, somebody on the top, and somebody constantly doing it. So someone like me, or someone like Karua, right? But Karua's retired, and I can't do this forever. Now, there's, there's some other people in the Mario 3 community that I see kind of stepping up. Ziku B plays a lot, but you see, Ziku B does no cam and no mic. So as far as, like, the entertainment aspect of being the top community leader and, like, encouraging so much more is is gone there. And same with Louie. Nice. Like, Louie's Louis fantastic and on the top, but as far as, like, a community leader keeping the crowd involved and engaged and interested is not that incredibly high right he's not a consistent streamer like the the one thing that i will say about louis that's awesome is that he stays involved with the with the um information aspect of it like he'll write up little scripts about things he'll get involved with tasses you know what i mean and that's that's a very good thing and that definitely helps communities grow and keep games relevant but if Mario 3 doesn't have, like, someone who's willing to, like... It's like any speedrun community or game, man. They they need dedication. Zikubi needs a cam and mic with how involved he is. He could become one of the next Mario 3, like, you know, top community guys, like, for streaming as well. But you never know, man. I know Zikubi's young, so his life could go in another direction. You never know how things go, man. You never know where things go. They, things could twist and turn. Life has a way of just like, weep. You turn. Haxer's pretty high on the community list as well. He just fucking works all the time and travels too much. <laughs> we miss Haxer. I'd like to watch Haxer play this every day, but you see... Stewie's a fantastic person as well. Stewie's very up there. Teeks is as well, but he does randomizer and stuff like that. So it's really hard to pinpoint. And that's why I think without Mario 3 having a very strong person at the top with engaging in the community like, like that, with streaming and stuff like that, it's going to be very interesting to see. Oh, Haxer. Dude. I'd love to see that happen, man. That'd be really cool. Right? Like, so, so whenever I think about stuff like that, and why I tie that in with all collectibles, because all collectibles is a category that allows for 
All collectibles allows for that ability to re-revitalize Mario 3 with a new category kind of thing, right? It's, it's a category that's not oversaturated. It's a category that's not overplayed. There's no strats developed at all for anything. It's a gold mine. Yo, SD, what's going on? Oh, I get it, Stewie. So, with what I'm saying is like, you don't you don't necessarily have to be an entertainer. If you take a look at Karua, the way the way Karua and I chose to deal with our Mario 3 in a more um, public, in a more public aspect, is the complete opposite, right? Karua never had Cam, never had Mike, but he was just as, just as high as I was with, with Cam and Mike. So Karua was never much of an entertainer. I'd actually say Karua was never really an entertainer. In terms, his form of entertainment was his Mario 3. So it's, there's, the difference between Karu and I is like huge, I think. Especially with the way we've dealt with Mario 3. Dude, I'm not wearing my Vape Nace shirt today. I think, I think you're fine, Stu. I think it's great. Just keep grinding, man. Keep going. Keep going hard. Hopefully I'd like to see one day Twitch be your job. That'd be awesome. I'm sure you'd love to do that. Those crates holding pocket vapes. Dude, I'm telling you, it's Goombas, man. Dude, it's Goombas. Do you know why I got a good time? Because I didn't mess up the fortress. You want to know why I didn't mess up the fortress? Because I'm not going for a strategy that saves nine frames. Well, you have it there, Stu. You're in the right community. You're playing a good game. But like I said, Mario 3 is... <laughs> you know? That's why revitalizing new categories involving new groups. I'd like... If I saw somebody really grinding down all collectibles, I'd join. I'd join. And all t the more people who join, the more interesting it becomes to the public. The first post was people arguing over the safety of vapes. I think I got, dude, I'm so scared to re-log into Facebook. It's been like four years, man. I'm petrified. No, it's been longer than four years. Apparently there's like eight confirmed dead directly because of vaping. I don't know. I don't, you know, you never know what's going on. Who knows? There's 600,000 dead from smoking, what, cigarettes last year? But vapes or cigarettes? Because isn't 600,000 low in a year from cigarettes? Maybe that's high. I don't know the statistic, guys. Don't hold me. I don't know.
480,000 from cigs? Nobody wants cigarettes that much anymore. I will, it seems. I just watched one of the new Family Guy episodes. Well, it's 2018. It's the latest release season where Chris and Stewie have their vape pens and they turn into like douchebags. I don't know. It was an interesting episode, I guess. I've never really judged anyone for vaping. I was under the impression that vaping is better than cigarettes, so I always was like, hey man, that's at least, you know, at least you're not smoking cigarettes. Yeah, I don't know much about, I don't know much about the whole vaping thing, so I have no clue. I just always thought it was better than cigarettes, so anytime someone vaped, I was, a, I was at least like, hey, that's better. But then again, if you smoke cigarettes... You know, my other initial thought was, I I'm, feel bad for you, man. I'm sure it's pretty rough. Because it is, and I've been there. It's tough, tough times, man. I get smokers. I understand them. Resident vape expert. You came to my stream for the vape knowledge? Shit, man, I don't got that. I don't got that, that vape tech, yo. I need to get my vape, my vape tech on point. Oh. I don't think I'd feel very good if I took a, a hit from a vape. Even if, even even though it's not a cigarette, I still don't think I'd feel very good. I'd probably get a little nauseous, a little dizzy. Well, you can't deny that vaping's, you know. Not better than fresh air, I guess. But I'm not addicted to fresh air, okay? I just needed to live. Yawn three to six. So looking ahead, is there a reason to do five to three before the fortress or after? So looking ahead, is there a reason to do five three before the fortress or after? In world five? Uh yes, map uh map movements. If I go straight for the Hammer Brothers after 5-3, then if I do 5-4, then 5-3, and the Hammer Brothers are in a good spot, then I save three map movements of time, which is pretty good. Can't believe you do that shell shit and it only saves 20 frames. What shell shit? Oh, the P-Speed. Oh, dude, it's so scary. I almost fucked it up there. Dude, it's so scary. I, I just sweat a little bit because of that level. It's like the most terrifying auto-scroller I've ever been in in my life. How do you quit smoking? Any tips? The biggest tip that I can give you is that you have to you have to start to realize that you want to quit. If you don't truly want to quit, you won't actually quit. Because you'll find reasons to not quit, if that makes any sense. Yo, JP! I was actually just thinking about you one second ago. I was like, he's, he's not here yet.
once you've actually decided to stop smoking and you're like i'm not buying a pack tomorrow and you finish all the cigarettes you have you have to find ways to keep your mind busy but you also have to be very conscious of the fact that your mind is going to play tricks on you it's going to fuck with you and that's the addiction and that's all it is right when you quit and you have those desperate thoughts of like i can't make it through the week without my how can i go like you find reasons that you can't make it through without cigarettes that's just that's just a game it's just a trick it's, it's all a trick it's just a, a prison the addiction builds to keep you in it's fucked up man it's such a mental battle i'm surprised i you know what i bet some people have developed schizophrenia quitting smoking that's how much it probably fucks with your brain. I'm only gambling that that's happened. I don't know if it actually has. It's very weird to quit smoking. Very weird. Dude, I'm still addicted to video games. I don't know. <laughs> don't let pe don't let people push you either. You'll quit at your own pace. Always. Why do I keep doing that? Why is that jump so bad? <laughs> Why do I keep doing that? I, I really hope I don't get a movement of four or six here. It's possible to get a movement of six. That would be horrible. Taking a little chance here with two music boxes. It's a little chance. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, you always gotta take care of yourself. You go to the top first because this Hammer Brothers liable of doing a movement of four, so you always go to the top first. Fuck me, man. What a waste. Well, I don't get to use the star in the pyramid, but that's okay, I guess. I did not mean to use that. 
Uh oh, that's not enough. Oh, that's fine. Would have been nice if I was able to kill the hammer with it. It's that's not that big of a mistake. It's okay, guys. I landed too on too uh, far on the pipe. I was really hoping to get P-Speed here, because it would have made this run really good. I don't normally really get tilted. I'll instantly reset and then get pissed off. Uh, this run was good, but World 4 screwed me over. It's not good anymore. I was hoping to A press on 2549, which would be absolutely insane, but. I don't get that luxury. I think the run should- I think this should still be okay. P-Speed and 4-5 would have been great. The double menu with the star is really- it's- oh, it's definitely over a second. The double music box, too. I also got a movement of 4 as well. So that kind of screwed me. I used to be the can't gain weight type as well. I really was. I weighed the same. I weighed the same from grade 9 all the way up until I was 28 years old. It was until I quit smoking. And then, then I started to put weight on. I'm also getting older too, yes. But if I continued smoking, I would probably still be skinny. The oldest the oldest rule in the smoking book, it's not even a rule, but the oldest trick in the smoking book is like, most people would rather have a cigarette than like, make themselves dinner. But they'd make dinner like, and then have another cigarette and then have more cigarettes. So it's like a weird, it's a weird thing. World 4 ended up being really bad. Wow. God, my fireball rhythm was so stupid there. I don't know why it just didn't do the... It did two and then stopped and then did two again. Best world coming up. That's pretty good. I got no music boxes though. My turn back sucked. So disappointed in that turn back. I had it too. I just had to do a juicier turn back. Dude, it was like a tiny little baby screech, I know. It was there too, it was the perfect setup.
You were only point one one off, right on. Yeah, that's close. Dude, moving a four every time. I have to get the hammer brother first. Which sucks. Then the fortress, then three. See, the Hammer Brothers really mess up my, my directional routing here. It's like, I could do the fortress first, but now I, I've already gone up, and then now I have to go back up again. So it's almost like it evens out if I would have just went to the fortress and wrapped around and gone to three. I think I'm saving one map movement here. That's it. Okay, I'm saving a little bit more now. Yeah. I mean, I could have done without the movement of three. I really could have enjoyed that extra 0.5, but there's not much I can do about it at this point. There we go. So he's beside level seven in the fortress right now. I mean, like, he's in between those two levels. Ah, I think I touched the ground. That's okay, I got a really good jump out of the pipe there. Really good. Another movement of one. Movement of two, he could be anywhere. He's either on the right side of level seven or the left side of the fortress by the lock. I'm gonna guess he's by the lock because he's an asshole. Can I save this? No. It's been a while since I've missed that pipe. It's bound to happen though. It's such a common, such a common mistake. This world with Hammer Brother movements is not going very well. I've got a lot of movements of three. I've gotten one movement of one. So I'll have 16, well, hold on. Yeah, I'll have 16. 16 plus 7, so I should be alright. If he moves up, that would be very nice. Really nice. If he's, he better be facing right here. If he's facing right, he can move down or right. If he's facing left, I don't know. Fucking beautiful, dude. He's just playing with my heart right now. He's just testing me. That's all this Hammer Brothers doing. He's just testing me. That's it. You're like ready for all these auto scrollers. At least, dude. I know he's playing games with my heart, dude. He's just testing me, man. I went into Arcus's channel today, guys. Was watching him a little bit, and one of the bosses fucked him over. So I wrote the biggest paragraph that Twitch would allow me to write about the boss patterns. You know, not to like boast that I know or not to tell anyone what to do, but the information is at least there. When he needs it, the information is there. I just told him exactly how boss patterns work. You may be thinking to yourselves, guys. Oh. He's getting movements of one. That's good, right? Well, no, because I could have killed this hammer brother two levels ago. So each movement of one is still a 0.5 time loss. Fantastic. Oh, on top of that, two extra map movements. Even better. 
Oh, Mario 3. Just when you think things are working, they're actually not. And if you don't know any better, you won't know why. Yay! Oh, I still kept my P-Speed? I was not expecting that. Alrighty then. Jesus, Clipper Cowardness shit. Wait, you don't think Arcus is chill? Or the Beatles, the cuteness of the Beatles. Oh, you just don't think? Okay, I get it. Now you're talking my language. Bickin, bockin, bickin, bickin. Yawn diagonals. Did you guys know that whenever... Whenever the level is clear from any shapes in the background, the level scrolls fast. Like, right now, the level scrolls fast to the right. To give the illusion that I'm going in a diagonal. It's the shape of the clouds. It's really strange. It, like, is a diagonal, but it's not. I almost messed that up. Why did I wait so long? So the level's scrolling up, and then whenever there's nothing in the background, it scrolls really fast to the left. So that you get to the end of the level. With how slow it's scrolling in the upright, it's weird. I'd have to show you guys sometime. I'd have to show you. What is man flu opposed to normal flu? Continue that gift set, that's what I'm talking about. Ah, oh, I missed the A press. That sucks. <laughs> I think the only thing I messed up. I didn't get P speed in 5 1, but I still did 5 1 a little bit better than I normally do. So that wouldn't have been a time loss. I messed up the pyramid. Now, the pyramid was a legitimate, like, three second time loss, sadly. That's a big time loss. In section 3, losing P speed, it's common to lose it in section 5, but not section 3, so I had to deal with it, you know? I had to roll with the punches. Uh, I got really lucky in comparison to the luck I just got. Come on, move up. Yo, T Pain. Heard about the Mitch. What's up, dude? Again. Love you, bro. Yeah, thanks, man. Welcome back for 17 months, too.
Save good chunks here and there, depending on how it goes. World 6 is working out okay. I wasn't expecting to lose Fire Flower on that stupid hammer brother, but it worked out. <laughs> Damn, dude. Oh shit, if I get a mushroom there and I damage boost in 6 4, I think that's guaranteed P speed. I have to check that out. But I'm pretty sure that's guaranteed P-Speed. Dude, I'm glad that you're able to sub again, T-Pain. And thank you so much for the resub. And everyone else supporting me today. Very, very generous. That actually works. Oh, please don't, guys. Please don't. It's always one or the other, level three or level four. Please don't. The, the Hammer Brothers are in a position to really fuck me over. Really fuck me over. Let's see if they do it. Nope. Thank God. Ooh, if he moves left, that'll be so good. Son of a bitch. A little P speed at the end there. <laughs> ah. I don't know how many times I've gotten in the pipe at two, uh, 290, but I think it's been a couple times. I moose ate your poutine. Don't be ridiculous. I get all the coins in this, I get a white mushroom house. Big in my big and back and big. And I get a P wing from it too, I think. I could get I could get two extra P wings in this run, but they won't help me, which sucks. Most people think that P wings are so top tier, but they're not. They really screw you over. We're gonna use a P wing in this level. I could use a P wing in the fortress after this, it would save me a lot of time, but not 12 seconds. You see? See why we don't get the white mushroom houses? Items are useless. 
We don't get the white mushroom houses not because it's not an item, but because it's not an objective. See, the Hammer Brothers are objectives. Like, they're actual levels, you know, kind of thing. P1 clip 7 for it, right? But even then... Oh my gosh! Dude, I haven't missed a stomp in ages! I gotta get my stomp game up. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that, but I was like, he knows, he knows. <laughs> He's just being afraid. Silfin, 13 months. Welcome back, man. Six nine, baby. It does nothing. The flower does nothing. Just less stress for no reason. No turnbacks. Not that you would anyways. 7-1 never gives you a star. It's because of the loading time. Hey, this World 6 wasn't bad, guys. I didn't get P-Speed in 6-4, which sucked. Uh, time save? I think? I think it should be a time save. Maybe a little bit. Is there a least played world? I mean, World 8 is the least played world. No, just in general. No matter what. World 8 is the least played. World 8 is the least practiced and least played world. Subway 6336 bonus 633. Thanks, Subway, for their contribution to this 6969. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Thank you so much. Jesus, SD. What up, man? Yo, show of hands in chat right now. Who's going to be at TwitchCon? One for yes, two for no. Maybe another time, guys. Yeah, see a little time safe. Purples. Last time I was in World 7, I got 7-7 seven, seven first try. What a waste of a run. I got 7-1 seven, and 7-7 seven, seven first try. It made me very sad. Wow, I'm so glad I did the manipulation. It worked, didn't it? Wow. It worked so well.
Yeah, third try is still good. Purple means I'm still behind, but I but I brought it back a bit. Single arrow build is pretty good. I should be able to do two inputs to the left for my next P-Wing. Gold means you're a tier 3 sub. I almost didn't make those two jumps. That was the closest I had ever been. Now my star should be two inputs to the left as well. Oh, I love that strat, man. So thick. Okay, okay, I can live with that. Extra laggy there. Really laggy. Yo, smirks a lot with the Twitch Prime. Thanks a lot, man. Look at these splits. Look how pathetic 100% is. There's, there's no real big time save in this category. Let's face it, guys. Let's face it. This is the big yawn level. Really big yawn level. What the fuck, man? What are these fishes, dude? And where's the blooper? What's going on? Why is there no blooper? Where did he go? What the fuck? Where did the blooper go? That's... What I need to know. That's what I need to know. I can't believe I got sandwiched there so hard. Unbelievable. The randomness of the fish, dude. Yeah, what you got? Yeah, he's coming in hot. But they're both on my left side. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah, they're gone. The yawn made the blooper. You know, I can roll with that. Dude, the RNG fish, man, really messed me up there. That's a big time loss, losing my tail there. Very big time loss. I gotta use a cloud and then a P-Wing? Horrible. So I keep your eyes peeled where the clouds are. I think it's right. Right three inputs. I lose time in this level because of this. All that mishmash. That's okay. We're not going to get 7 1 anyways, right? I'm in there. Dude, some of the inconsistencies. I 
I have to get seven one first try or seven seven first try and then seven nine also has to give me the middle clip for this to even like even out a little bit. I need the tail for the fortress, so I got a P-Wing 7-6 first. You got this? Well, it's not really within my control much. There you go, first try gone. I'm so close. Now all I gotta do is splice my run. We got MFP Monka yesterday, yes. Yeah, just splice my run and we're good to go. Dude, it's fucking bullshit, man. It does this to me every time. It's so bad, man. That's the biggest time loss there, because if I was gonna not fire kill the boom boom, I could just run through everything, but no, I had to do the fucking turn backs. I had to do the turn backs to try and keep my fire flower, because it makes a difference when it really doesn't. It's just a big waste of time. If I ended up cheating in Mario 3, I would... If I was you guys, and there was a new Mario, like if the- Subway 100 bonus 10 punts stick around, but good luck on the runs. Yo, thank you, Guptina. Thank you for the 100 bits. You gotta get that WoW grind going. Don't plummet too hard, man. I would be- I'd be looking at the discrepancies within the Mitchells. If I cheated in Mario 3, you should start questioning all Mitchells everywhere. I already do. Excuse me. Have you guys seen Billy Mitchell's new defense? He compiled like a 200, or it's like a 60 page defense for the suing. I got 50,000 in Double Dragon, so. So the time loss, the, the the drastic time loss you're gonna see here is directly caused from seven seven not working. Whee! 
Yo, Agent 15 months, welcome back. Good evening, Mitch and my fellow freaks. 15 months down and many more to go. Keep up the great work. NFP Woo. Thanks, man. I will. I'll keep up the great work. That's it, though. Where's Where's Giga? Giga has to see this run. Giga is so capable of getting a low 110. But for some reason, he's got a 11040. I don't know why, man. I know he can do better. I want him to do better. I spent like 20 seconds in 7-7. All right, guys, let's try and save some time in World 8. What do you say? There's some time to be saved, all right? I mean, shut the heck up. It's possible. Well, I mean, I have to do the hand levels. I'll try it. Well, this is a perfect run to try the P-Speed Strat in Hand Trap 2. As long as I don't get pulled in by the hands, I'll save some time. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm splicing this run to world record. I forgot about that. Just whenever you watch my new 100% world record, don't look at the timer when I enter 7-1 versus when I get the clip. The... my... VHS... Uh, skipped. Not my fault. Oh, just the video, no audio for my world record run? How is that abnormal compared to my normal submissions? I mean, let's face it here. Every time I submit a run, it always has no audio, no webcam, no mic. Oh, I almost got rangless, man. Think about all the problems Billy Mitchell's dealing with, with, like, his family. Has anyone ever thought of that at all? Like, he's got, like, kids, and he's got a wife and a home and stuff. Like, they probably all, like, believe the cheating stuff. And they probably see his, like... Man, that's gotta be rough. Imagine being married by Billy Mitchell. <laughs> Maybe they just don't care. Would you, would you care if your husband was a worldwide cheater? If I was rich, I don't care who's cheating with what video games. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, Billy Mitch has always been pretty cringy. It's pretty normal. Alright. Let's go. 
Nope. I knew I wasn't gonna get it. But I tried. Yeah, you'd have bigger problems if you were married to Billy Mitchell, that's right. If I cheated at all Mario 3, I think Forest Kitty would have a problem, yes. If I cheated at all my video games. I'm not even like in any kind of physical relationship with any of you in chat and all of you guys would care too. People who aren't even married would care. That's how big of a deal it is. So I mean I assume that she probably cares but she's probably sticking by him. If he ever admitted to her that he cheated in all the video games then you know she would understand why he's acting. Like that one interview where where What's-His-Face was there and Billy Mitchell just like blamed it on his one buddy and like walked away. That was like the worst thing I've ever seen. That's so obvious. He's just trying to get out of it. So embarrassing, man. When you're at that point, like, you know, you're just cornered. And if you didn't cheat, you'd embrace everything, you know? So obvious. Depends if she cares about video games. She probably doesn't. But... The foreclosure on the house probably bothers her. When Billy Mitchell gets actually sued. Because now he might get sued by, by Twin Galaxies and all that shit. Or some, some other... Some people are considering suing him. I can't remember. I can't remember everything. You guys would have to check it out for yourself. With Donkey Kong. Oh god, that's so much worse. I knew I'd get bad RNG eventually. And then the sun blocked the shot. Did you guys see that? What a fucking asshole. Billy Mitchell, long time ago. This isn't news. This isn't new news. I think it's safe to say we are not saving time in this world, guys. We've already passed the Jesus clip. We've already passed it. Yeah, but you see, the thing is, is that once you've been declared a cheater at video games, Nobody wants to believe your game records anymore. So like his Pac-Man could be under investigation and all the other shitty games he played. Which surprises me with, with the Todd, the Todd Rogers cheating. Cause like when Todd Rogers cheated at Dragster, I mean, anyone even really know about like who how many people are actually involved with twin galaxies like I never cared once to really check out that website I've always looked at that website being just like some crappy depressing 80s record site Nobody gives a shit about score. Nobody gives a shit about your records or your cheated records. Just get get wrecked, man. 
Yes, seven seven's the pipe clip level. I miss my A press up the stairs. Bad boys for life. almost beat Giga. Wait, did I beat Giga? Did I- is Giga's a 110.48 or 110.45? I can't remember. 3.5 seconds. That was a good run. I'm just curious with- with times. The only reason I'm curious is to like, because I want the other runners to get good times. Yo, thanks for the GG's, guys. Giga is a 110.45. Okay, I thought so. We'll, li we'll listen to these rockin' tunes before we start another run. Beep, 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 boop, and beep. Beep, 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 Meekin, meekin, meek. Boop. Boop, 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 beep, beep, beep. Boop, beep. Oh, yeah, we'll get another run going, guys. 